Hello, BCom students. This is a generic video on how to sign up using the Doodle Poll for the interview. And I'm trying to make it as straightforward as I can and give you a little video here to help you out. Now, remember, this is generic. So maybe the dates you're going to see are all going to be wrong, but you'll get the idea. Alrighty, I will post an announcement and also a uh, assignment that will be worth an extra point, all right, if you do it before the due date. The due date will be like every, every assignment, you know, on a Monday night of 1159, all right. What I, what I want you to do is look at your course schedule and notice when your interview week is, all right? Again, it's going to be different from everybody, but you're going to, let, let's say that your last name starts with P, you know, Park, and so there are three, and again, this could change, but there are three separate weeks set up for interviews, and you're in the middle of, the, of those, uh, those three weeks. What I want you to do when you follow the link to the Doodle Poll, which we'll do now through magic, click on it and you jump out to the Doodle Poll. And you'll jump to the Doodle Poll. Ta -da. You can see you're going to have to sign in or sign up. I don't know. It's free. Don't, uh, don't give me a hard time for that. And let's say that your week is Monday the 27th into the following Monday, which would be, what, the third? Uh, the fourth. All right. Uh, so you work nights. You work 8 o'clock until 4, whatever. You, well, you work 8 o'clock until 2. So you could get up and be at our 11 o'clock scheduled time. So on the 27th, you'd pick, yeah, I can do the 11 o'clock and the three o'clock. Can't do the, the eight o'clock, but I can do on Tuesday and on Wednesday and on Thursday and on Friday. But you don't work on the weekends and you're a good student and you're gonna try hard. So you're gonna say, yeah, I can, I can meet any, any of these weekend times too. And since it goes, you know, our class goes Monday to Monday, you know, you might want to pick Mondays too, it's okay. Then you're done, hit send, and you've given me 18 different times that you're available. Do not just pick one. And do not just pick the last day, the last time available. Pick all the times that you would conceivably be available. Now, I know... I'm asking you to do this a couple of weeks in advance because I need time to figure out what's the rest of the dates and all that kind of stuff and announce it. If one of those times fall through because of work or injury or hospitalization, I get that. But don't sign up. Don't tell me that you can meet Saturday, October the 2nd at 8 p.m. and then not show up because you had a date. I, they ain't gonna fly. If I if I send you an announcement that says, okay, these people are gonna meet October the second at eight o'clock because you signed up for it, then A, you're gonna respond back to me, okay, I'll be there. But B, you even if you don't respond back to me, you'd better be there at eight o'clock because I'm gonna let everybody know and you're gonna know about it. So there's no excuse. Treat it just like an interview, all right? You don't have to dress up. But you just have to be there, okay? It's smart to be there early, and I'll show you what I mean in just a second as far as the software. But uh, this assignment, this mock interview, is not for me to give you a bad grade. Quite the contrary. This assignment is going to give you the feeling of having a real interview. And since you've already done the presentation, which you give me your elevator pitch, you answer three interview type questions, you do your close, 
then that's 80% of the interview, all right? You've already done this. What I'm going to do is give you the feedback and some pointers on when someone says anything about salary. And we'll talk about that before we have the interview. Now, going back to the announcement letter, if you'll follow what the announcement letter says, and I'm not gonna read all of this to you, but I want you to review the interview evaluation form so you know the rules of the game. It's pretty straightforward, it's all there. I want you to print out the interview conversation checklist which will also be used for the five videos that will prepare you for uh, understanding the secrets of interviews, all right? So this is really just gonna be a rehash of a bunch of things that, you, that you've already done, and there's not gonna be a lot of new information except for me giving you feedback on your interview style and some ideas on how to do a better interview job. All right, now, the one thing I wanna show you real quick is the big blue button, formerly conferences, in Canvas. This is all new to me, to us, so everybody, you know, even this is a couple of years old, uh, there's always something that goofs up. Uh, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna say join, and you should, be offered a, hey, you're gonna listen through microphone. Uh, how would you like to listen? You know, uh, microphone means you're gonna have an audio and, and, and listen, you're, no, you're gonna have a microphone, so you're gonna be able to converse, so you're gonna click on microphone. Now, if you're using your phone, this is the last option that I want you to use. I don't want you to use your phone unless you're, PC is down, your laptop's down, I want you to use the microphone option, okay? And I want you to use headphones while you do that. Um, because that's worked better in the past. And again, uh, Canvas is all new for us, so we'll just see how that works. But it'll walk you through setting up your audio and your video, and I want you to do, you need to have a video camera. I want you to do both, okay? Then when you're done, you've got headphones on because I won't get any feedback. We're ready to go. And, and you need to do this part where you log in to the big blue button, whatever the heck this is, at least 20 minutes before the interview starts. And this is what I say right here. If you're late and we're waiting on you or you interrupt us or I've got to start over again, it does not make me happy. So be early, just like you would for an interview. And if you're late, I'm gonna give you a hard time about it. All right, the, the great thing about this exercise is that you're gonna get feedback, which nobody ever gives you before, all right? And I've probably hired way over, well, I know, I've hired way over 100 people, and I've only had to fire one, and that wasn't the person I hired. So I think I got a pretty good track record on hiring people. And so we're going to talk about that and, and how you're going to be substantively different than everybody else that that person's interviewing, which is a good thing. Okay. Uh, again, if you don't understand these instructions, if you can't get the day that you're supposed to, that the, you know, nothing in that week works, which I find that really hard to believe. Maybe that's happened once in five years, but you just need to contact me and let's talk about it or have an email exchange, okay? Remember, I'm here to help you be successful, and I'm, I'm telling you right now, nobody else in the college does this, and it's because I want you to be successful. So I think this is one of the things that I'm kind of giving back for my experience and abilities, and it should be one of the better things you've done, even though it might make you uncomfortable. Guess what? Growth comes from being uncomfortable sometimes. And you just need to embrace it and you're going to do fine. Again, uh, very few people do bad in, in the interview unless they're just not paying attention and just don't care. Okay? So don't worry about it. All right. More to come.